Alright guys, welcome back. Well, got a list of some notes here, random things I want to talk about. Um, there's quite a few topics, so let's jump into this. Uh, it's been a while since I made a little rant video. This is really much of a rant video. It's half and half. Uh, first topic is uh, voting third party. Uh, now, I'm a libertarian. I, uh, when I was first 18 and I registered to vote, Back when George W. Bush uh, became president, I was registered a Republican. I, of course, voted George W. Bush. Uh, he got it. Um, I honestly have not voted since then. So this will be my first election, and you know that was you know, three president run presidency runs ago. I didn't vote uh, in the last two Obama elections. Of course, Oklahoma, of course. Oh, Oklahoma, it's, it's the South. He didn't get hardly shit from Oklahoma. I don't think he got any delegates. So um, there's a fan going. It's I don't know if I mentioned already. It's 82 degrees outside, so do the best I can to kind of edit that out. Um, now voting third party, you know, there's there are some candidates I could vote for. Um, I mean, I think he's got like was it Johnson. I think he has like 13 percent of the votes right now. Um, that's way too low for me to even want to even consider voting for a third party. Uh, especially when you have Clinton. Um, I would put a bullet in my head or attempt to put one in said person's head uh, before voting for that bitch. So, I'll be voting Trump this year. Um, a lot of people say that, you know, they're just the same person, just a different letter. You know, what, what the fuck ever. I haven't seen Trump do anything that Clinton has shit, look at all the, you know, the scandals going on now with the DNC and that one bitch fucking stepped down and now she's working for Hillary, so. Uh, so I will be voting Trump, as if, as most of you will be. Um, now, and we already talked about lying Clinton, so. Uh, now we're going to go into something that I wouldn't have considered to talk about except for it's, it's kind of a latest trend going on that I've noticed with uh, some of my Facebook friends and former friends. Uh, now, the, I've only known one person that I was Facebook friends with uh, was, uh, he was gay, um, or is gay still, I mean, you don't step away from being gay, I guess. But he, uh, he was actually registered Republican and said he was a Republican. I, which is kind of odd because he's a, he's a fucking Hispanic dude. He's like, you know, like from Mexico and shit. Um, yeah, it's, I guess within the past maybe a year, uh, he's now, says he's independent, but voting Clinton. You know, fucking trash talking Trump and shit. Dude lives in Texas. Uh, I sent him packing after about three attempts to try to get him to. Uh, tell me exactly where he stood, and he uh, failed to do so. And it seems like every gay person I know and or ever been friends with, um, well, except for one, there's one person on my Facebook, she has never voiced her opinion on politics, but she hangs out with a bunch of bikers and all of, the, all of us, the inner circle area that uh, Jesse and so forth is in. Um, she hangs out with all them, and Jesse and all them's the same way. They'll they'll shoot themselves before they uh, cast their vote for that bitch. So uh, I don't I don't know where she stands, but um, it's like you know I just threw the facts out there to a coworker, and uh, it's funny. There's another coworker that or she used to work uh, where I work, but she was a Bernie supporter, and now she you know fuck Clinton. She ain't vote for Clinton, so either she's voting third party or she's voting Trump. Uh, she never, she never really made any negative post about Trump. You know, definitely a lot less posts than she make it about Clinton. So, but he's like telling me some random bullshit. I'll, I'll post the fucking screenshot right here. You can read that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you read that for a minute. But you know, and, I, and now it's kind of cold shoulder with that dude. You just. 
you give them the truth and they still want to uh, just not accept it and go go along with uh, the candidate doesn't matter what the fuck they stand for or what the fuck they've done if they're a Democrat god damn it they're gay they're voting Democrat uh, now another one this will this will lead into the uh, the next one after this you'll understand BLM Black Lives Matter um, it's a fucking terrorist group it is a you know now to the new Black Panther Party. Uh, there's someone that I have uh, done beer, review, beer reviews with. I'm not going to mention their name. But um, I was looking on her her Facebook and all her friends. I literally went through her whole, whole friends list. And all the ones that had pictures of them in the African garb getup. Or had the African flag as their profile picture. Every single one of them had something to say about BLM, had something to say about every cop killing a black person, had to say something about black power, had to say something just fucking, you know, being the racist person. Not, It's not like they said cracker or nothing, but, you know, if they're going to say black power and do all this shit, you know where they're fucking standing. They're just not going to come out on Facebook and say it. Well, big fucking joke. It's a terrorist organization. It's... They're using the, the pity party fucking sorry, feel sorry for me bullshit so they can get their fucking way and just use their race as a, as a leverage to do it. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. I'm sure most of you guys feel the same way about BLM, so. Um, cop murders. I, uh, I was up in Wisconsin uh, when the, 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 the one of the latest cop shootings happened in Wisconsin. Um, and when uh, the shit in Dallas happened. Uh, I intend, I need to find a place to do it. It's either going to be either around my upper elbow on this arm or this arm. I haven't quite decided. Uh, I'm going to be getting a, uh, a thin blue line tattoo around my arm. Uh, I really don't have much other place to put it, but I'm definitely not putting anything on my legs or chest or neck or nothing like that. So. I support my my cops, my local cops, my state police, my, uh, I'm not going to say my government's police or anything like that, but, you know, if you're a police officer or sheriff or highway patrol or anything like that, if, if you're doing your job, I support you. Um, however, there was, I don't, I don't remember these motherfuckers' names because it all just, it just starts BLM protest shit. The one that got shot by the cop that was in the car and, um, he was reaching for his, uh, his license or his permit. I think he took like four rounds to the chest and he died. Uh, that was a fuck up. That was a an officer fuck up. It wasn't, you know, there wasn't an officer in Florida telling him to do this shit or an officer up in fucking Alaska saying, hey, you need to shoot that dude. You know, just just fucking do it. You're a cop. You got that You got that white privilege, that cop privilege card, all that shit. Uh, that wasn't nothing like that. He just fucked up. All right, poor training. Uh, he might have been, he might have been new. He might have been... You know, not familiar with the whole exercise on how to handle shit. So I mean, the, literally, I I think the the guy that got shot, uh, you know, he did everything right. You know, he shouldn't fucking been dead. But you know, shit happens. Um, and what are you gonna do? Start a protest and get more people killed? Yeah, you bring that shit to my fucking town. I'm ready for you, motherfucker. I'm fucking ready for you. I'm not fucking starting that shit. Uh, all right. Next one, I'm going through these pretty quick. I was thinking this was going to be a 45 fucking minute video. Uh, the latest uh, new mod that I've got in. Um, I did one juice review with this one, the uh, Darth Vapor. Uh, it's a dual parallel 18650. Um, all this green glows in the dark. And I have another faceplate, but I just I prefer this one. All 3D printed. Like I said this does glow in the dark. It's got a 3D printed bezel. There's no batteries in it. Uh, this was number 28. So he's done a few of these. Uh, I'll be doing reviews on them. I actually did send this one particular back. Uh, he sent it to me and I had it maybe three days. Uh, I noticed an issue with the uh, 
with a 510 base, it was actually uh, starting to pull out, yeah, getting the juice everywhere. So I uh, sent it back to him, let him know exactly what was going on. He uh, he fixed it. He made a new bezel for it. 3D printed it. That black thing on top. Uh, put some epoxy on it. Uh, I haven't ever had an issue with it backing out. Uh, this is a 22 millimeter atomizer. It, uh, I have a 24 millimeter uh, RDTA. It's the limitless. Fit on here just fine. Uh, now this one is this one is badass. Looks like wood, huh? This is 3D printed as well. Uh, however, the uh, plastic used to print this actually had wood particles in it. You can definitely tell. It looks like wood right there. The back of it. Got the Darth Vapor logo on the, on the top there. Uh, this is a 24 millimeter atomizer, and like I said, it would fit on here just fine. Uh, this one just the unhinge it comes out. Uh, this is actually number one. This was the first one he ever made. He uh, he used this for a while and decided to send it to me to do a review. Uh, I, I have batteries in it now. But if you know much about electronics, this has a MOSFET in it, just like the other one does. I'm, I'm, I believe. Don't quote me to that. I'll have to ask him. Um, this is a dual series. It has a pretty hefty wire to it. It pops pretty good. It's uh, I got a pretty low bill in here actually. I think I'm on the next build. I'm gonna have to put an extra couple of wraps on it. It's uh, pretty warm. Yeah, with the fan going, it still lingers. Uh, vaping on some something clouds, monkey junkie. Me and Josh got a. Those reviews rolling out right now. Pretty good juice. All right. So I'll be doing I'll be doing uh, separate reviews on these. Uh, he has many different <clears throat> styles of boxes, different prices, different color options. You can choose whatever color you want. Say you want to do uh, uh, lime green and black, or yellow and blue, or some random shit like that. Uh, this also has a uh, 3D printed button bezel on it. I'm sure you can change up that color to whatever you want. Got a good 510 on it. Good quality shit. This 510 is size 424 millimeter. Maybe it's 20. Yeah, it's 422, I believe. I have to actually get close to it and see. So. All right, on to the next one. Um, this is uh, about my latest pistol. I haven't. I don't think I have ever shown it. I don't know. Make us make it safe here. That's my Glock 43. I carried this when I went up to Duluth and uh, all across the north northern area. That's single stack nine millimeter. I haven't shot it yet. Um, I did change out the, uh, the sights. It's got the excess standard dots on it. Uh, Tritium front. There's not a Tritium on the rear. I didn't justify seeing spending $100 for a rear Tritium. Uh, I got the Hive Hive brand uh, rear plate. It's red. It goes along with the uh, plus one base plate that I have from them. And plus two base plate. Now they seem like pretty good quality. Uh, they're about half the price almost as the Terran Tactical. I think these are like $20 a piece. The rear plate was like $10. I'm going to be getting a uh, red Hive Extended uh, mag release as well. So Got this in. This is the holster I'm I've, uh, I purchased. They have an, e an online store, but I got this from their eBay store. Just a little clamshell Kydex holster. 
and this is a this is their inside the waistband magazine carrier. Uh, they sent me an outside the waistband one as well, so <coughs> I'm just waiting for that one to come in the mail. All right, sorry about the little little pause and delay there. Uh, this is their eBay store, uh, BlueLineHolsters.com. There, I'm not sure if you can really see that. Doesn't really fucking matter. Um, let's just go to some of their items for sale here. Um, yeah, this holster was 50 bucks uh, with the uh, mag carrier. Uh, they got for Smith and Weston, Glock 43. Uh, you can buy belt clips from them if you bust a belt clip. Uh, they do have quite a few other holsters available as well. Uh, I'm not going to read them all off to you if you just want to, want to check them out. Uh, BlueLineHolsters.com. <coughs> They're all actually actually uh, police officers, so uh, that's their that's their number one job, and then their secondary job is making holsters. So. Definitely give them a, a look. This thing carries great. I will say the uh, belt clip, I haven't ever had an issue. Uh, like with my Glock 19, I have a clamshell style holster as well. Uh, if you move just right, you can actually push up on the holster and it will come right off your belt clip. I've literally had this thing fall out of my pants into the car uh, about two or three times just getting in the car. And then when I get out of the car, it falls out. So. Have you ever had an issue with this? Um, the only time I ever had an issue was with this mag carrier, and I was sitting in a chair, and the chair caught the back of the mag and pulled it out. Uh, we were in the middle of uh, CC's Pizza, and it was fucking packed. It was Saturday afternoon. Uh, I'd say about 70 people in there. The magazine hits the ground. Uh, I think the only people who saw it were like an elderly couple that was behind me. They were probably in their 60s or so. Uh, so that's it. A quick video for you. Just random shit that I didn't want to talk about. Uh, this list has been growing the past few days. I'm sure I could think of some more, but the uh, main thing was about the, the voting and black lives. Dick fucking suck motherfuckers, man. I hate them cunts. If they ever bring that shit to my front yard, I'm going to be fucking lining them up. Alright. So. We've seen it.